Athens reporting for K10 News. Now, former Tanzanian President Zakaya Mrisho Kikwete will be the head of the East African Community Observer Mission for the August 9th general election. Now, EAC unveiled Kikwete as the electoral agency. IBC began its daily briefings to update the country on the preparations for the election slated for Tuesday of next week. Murimi Mwangi reports. <laughs> A week to the transitional election to pick President Uhuru Kenyatta's successor and the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission in the first of what will be its daily briefings give an update on preparations for the critical polls. The first uh, presidential ballot uh, pallets arrived on the 27th. Uh, the next ones were to arrive on 29th and finally the third will go to get the last pallets. So the third, it is the lunch, last bunch of the presidential ballots that are going to arrive in the country. IEBC says it has been meeting technical representatives of political parties every Thursday to assess key technological aspects of the polls, among these the nagging question of results transmission from over 1,000 polling stations without access to 3G and 4G network. The political parties, IT experts have been visiting the warehouse where the production of King's kit has been going on and all this has been shown to them and even ascertained what is contained in the Kim's kit. Remember, there's been fears of preloading the Kim's kit with something which is not there. Meanwhile, former Tanzania President Jagaya Kikwete will be the East African Community Chief Observer of the August 9th polls, with among other responsibilities to assess the election's adherence to democratic principles of the economic bloc, as enshrined in the ESC Treaty. As a region, we have a conviction that regional observation is critical to enhancing the credibility of the elections, reinforcing the work of domestic observer groups, and enhancing public confidence in the entire electoral process. Kikwete will be part of a larger joint mission of the European Union, the African Union, COMESA, and the ESC that has been traversing the country to assess IEBC's preparedness ahead of the polls. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News. Well, let's take it out to the campaign trail. The Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, has defended President Uhuru Kenyatta against an onslaught by his deputy, William Ruto, telling him to focus on his agenda and, of course, prepare to square out with him on the ballot next week. Raila, who toured Mount